And then I told her, lady, that ain't my age. <laughs> All right, one more, guys. So recently, I had to buy a new car, and I realized something. I go through cars like I went through boys in high school. <laughs> like it's great for a couple months, and then we get bored of each other. I'll put way more time and effort and money into it than he does. Then one day, he meets a pot whore and leaves me stranded on the side of the road. You know what? It was him. It was not me. He has no idea what he's missing. We could have gone places, like awesome places, like Yellowstone Park and shit. And then this cycle continues year after year until I meet that one perfect car. The one... That will last in the long run. You know, the minivan with the dad bod. <laughs> All right. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, here is your headliner, my best friend's minivan, Andrew Ingram. up everybody how's it go jesus okay oh lord it's good to be here it's good to be here at the hoot nanny oh my goodness oh my lord oh hey how's everybody doing tonight you doing good i know you're oh we got a wedding party here that's beautiful that's beautiful amazing amazing i'm so happy you're all here for my return to stand-up comedy hey you know what? Let's just take a sec. Give it up for your opening act. All right, from Hilda. <laughs> yeah, them ain't my eggs. Them ain't my eggs. Am I right? Am I right? Oh, she's great. She's great. And you know what? Why don't we give it up for Hoot Nanny, everybody? Give it up for Hoot Nanny for putting us on, for bringing us all back together into the world. Isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful. And you know what? While we're at it, you know what? Give it up for all our healthcare workers. Am I right? They've been working hard for us. They've been safe. They've been treating all those people out there who've been sick over the past couple months. It's wonderful. It's just wonderful what they've been doing. And, you know, let's give it up for our essential workers. Right? Am I right? You know what? They've been putting their lives on the line so we can have food and toilet paper. That's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Let's give it up for them. Yeah, that's right. Hey, and you know what? You know who, who's not getting enough praise these days? You know? You know who's, who's not getting the accolades they deserve? Our Amazon Prime delivery workers. Yeah, now those guys are putting in the hard work. We're all bored in quarantine. We've been bored for months. We've had nothing to do. And they've been bringing us puzzles. They've been bringing us Legos. They've been bringing us DVDs. Also, we have something to do, and we don't go crazy. I just, I just want to give it up for them, too. Yeah? Yeah. And you know what, guys? I don't, want to, I don't want to bring down the mood. This has been, this has been a wonderful night, but let's, Let's, uh, let's have a moment of silence. Have hey, a moment of silence. tell a joke. What's that? What, what, what did you say to yeah. me? Tell, tell yeah, a tell joke. a joke. Be funny. Tell a joke? Yeah, I got jokes for you. I got jokes for all of you. I'm great at telling jokes. This is what I do. This is my living. This is my livelihood. I'm a comedian. I have jokes. You ready for some jokes? Yeah. Yeah, we're ready for jokes. Guys, I didn't write any jokes. I tried. I tried. I I I I I really tried. I tried. I've been at home. I've been at home for two months. I tried. I tried writing jokes. I I just I played Xbox. And I watched. I watched Community. And I I just I couldn't. There was nothing funny happening in the world. Everything was so sad. Everything was. Everything was so sad, guys. I tried. I, I want to be funny. I'm a good comedian. I'm a good person. I just, I want to, I want to, I, I just want to do comedy again. I just want to thank you 
laugh. I want to be good at 